Right along I-70 in central Missouri is a town called Rocheport. It's just a little bit west of Columbia. Those of you who have been here will remember Les Bourgeois Vineyards and winery. Right down the street, they have a bistro with some beautiful food. And if you remember the old A frame, it's still there too. We've got a lot to learn today, but let's go check out the tasting room. If you've spent any time at all in mid Missouri, I'm sure you've heard of Les Bourgeois Winery and Vineyard. This is Krista Holsclaw. She's the director of marketing here. Now, this is going to go back a lot of years, but I went to grad school. I spent a lot of time at the A frame right here on this property at Les Bourgeois. Yeah, it's a mainstay. It's a mainstay. Give me a little history of this beautiful place. Absolutely. So, Les Bourgeois was first opened in 1985. And it opened as just the A-frame. The A-frame was the only location that we had. And now it's expanded. And not only do we have the A-frame wine garden with that amazing view mm. and those patios, um, but we also have a full-service restaurant, the Bistro. And um, we also have a tasting room and gift shop. So you mentioned the Bistro. Mm -hmm. And I've heard that some of the food there is the greatest. And I can't wait to see it. Well, let's go. Let's go take a look. So, Krista, the bistro has lunch and dinner, mm -hmm. and I spot a menu. I love reading menus. It just makes me really, really hungry. What's your claim to fame here at the bistro? We do a lot of specials, and that gives the chefs an opportunity to not only to um, make something that features really well with a specific wine, right. um, but also just to do something new and different and to have a delicious meal. So talk about the events that you have here because this is a big space. I love the loft space upstairs, yes. but I can just picture the weddings and all of the things that you do here. So weddings um, here are absolutely breathtaking. So your backdrop is the Missouri River. Um, it doesn't really get better than that. Um, and we have an event space that's specific for um, weddings that opens right out onto the bluff top. That's called the terrace. And your wines obviously are fantastic. Speaking yes. of that, I'm ready to meet the winemaker, Jacob. Yes, Jacob Holman's our winemaker. Okay, he's here today. Yes. All right, let's go see what he's up to. Jacob Holman is the president and the chief winemaker here at Les Bourgeois in Rocheport. How, what got you into making wine? You know, I always told people it was bad luck. But, <laughs> really? Uh, <laughs> I think it's good luck, but why was it bad luck for you? Uh, you know, I, I came out here, I was, you know, went to college at the University of Missouri, and I came out here for a part-time job, and then I uh, just kind of fell in love with the culture. Talk about the wines here at Les Bourgeois. What do you sort of specialize in? Uh, we have, have about 30 acres of grapes. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, the only red grape that we grow is Norton. Uh, and then over on the South Farm, um, we grow Vidal Blanc, uh, Vignole, Tramonet, and Chardonnay. You recently won an award for a sparkling rose? Yeah, that's the Jefferson Cup uh, Invitational. So that's a, it's a pretty big competition. Uh, it's a national competition. Around 700 entries. Um, we were one of the wines that was chosen for um, the Jeff Cup. Well, congratulations on that and keep up the great work at Les Bourgeois. Good job. <laughs> well, thank you. I love this beautiful tasting room at Les Bourgeois. And before we get started tasting, tell me about the contest for your labels. I love oh. this. This works in the local art, which is great. Yes, we've been doing this for a lot of years. It's the Collector Series Wine Label Art Competition. The Collector Series is not only an opportunity for artists to be showcased, but also for our winemakers to do something different, something unique, something they may not have done before. And I know you've been doing this for several years, and you get a ton of entries here, don't you? Absolutely. So it'll range from 250 entries to 400 entries per year. And I know you have events surrounding that. I've yes. got to put that on my calendar. But I want to taste something, and that is the sparkling rosé. I know this is an award winner. You guys are very, very proud of this. We are. We're incredibly proud of our Brut Rosé. So it's a dry, sparkling wine. It is made in the traditional method, so that means that it has secondary fermentation on in the bottle. Um, and it is one of our just unique wines that we offer. It's made with the St. Vincent grape, which is a hybrid grape that we grow here in Missouri. And it is super versatile. It pairs with all kinds of things. It's great for brunch. It's great for holiday gatherings, for any celebration, really. Um, and it is absolutely fantastic. I think you'll like it. When did you start making this, and how has it been received by the people who come here? Um, it's incredibly popular. We sell out of it regularly. Um, but we started making it in the mid-2000s. Okay, so this is a hit. I'm eager to try it. And I don't want to drink alone, Krista. You can have some with me, right? Absolutely. This is lovely. I love a sparkling. It just 
makes me happy. It's good for absolutely any occasion, like Cheers. today. Cheers. Mm. It's That's great, right? That's delicious. It is. It's nice and light. It's not, it is very, it's dry, but it's got a little bit of hint to it of the fruit, which I adore. St. Vince is known for kind of strawberry notes, so some of that comes out, I think. That's fantastic. Okay, wrap me up a bottle or two of that one to take home, but first tell everybody how they can find your calendar, because you have a lot of events, a lot to offer here at Le Bourgeois. Yes, we do all kinds of events across all of our property, and so we have everything from live music to special dinners, et cetera, and all of that can be found on our website at MissouriWine.com, or we're also on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We're all over the place. Okay, Le Bourgeois, even better than when I was in grad school. Cheers to you. Cheers. Thank you.